चलो बच्चो क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन से Two coils have a self inductance L1 is equal to 4 mh and L2 is 1 mh respectively. The currents in the two coils are increased at the same rate. At a certain instant of time, both coils are given the same power. If I1 and I2 are the currents in the two coils at that instant of time respectively, then the value of I1 divided by I2 is what let's find out so inductors resist change in current if current increases then the inductor resist an increase in current and if the current decreases the inductor resist decrease in current so self inductance occurs when the current is induced in a wire or coil due to the current already pass, passing through it by applying voltage by some external factor okay so in, in a current carrying wire a magnetic field develops in the plane perpendicular to the wire change in current causes changes in the magnetic field conversely a changing magnetic field also induces a current moreover a change in the current of the wire or coil causes the induction of a voltage it appears like some potential difference is applied across the wire so that the current can travel so this induced voltage is called the electromotive force which is in the opposite direction to the actual applied voltage on the wire this is in accordance with lenz law so the rate of change of current is given by emf or v is equals to l into di by d, dt di by T. Okay, so here V is equals to induced uh, electromotive force or voltage. L is inductance. D I by D T is rate of change of current in the coil. So here V one is equals to L one D I one divided by D T, and V two is equals to L two D I two divided by D T. This equation one. Okay, so since equal power is given to both coils, that implies I one V one is equals to I two V two. It can be written as I one by I two is equals to V two by V one. So from equation one, we get I one by I two is equals to L two into D I two by D T into One by L one D I one by T T. Okay, so it is given in the question that the current in both coils is increased at the same rate. So therefore, D I one by D T is equals to D I two by D T. It implies I one by I two is equals to L two by L one. Since L two by L one is equals to one by four, so we have I one by I two is equals to one by four. So here option number B is the correct answer. One by four. Thank you.